Okay, spread your toes in mountain pose. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Crown to the ceiling, shoulders back and down. Activate your core for a little support for the lower back. And don't forget to breathe. And just begin focusing inward on your yoga perspective. And keep that inner focus as we process our yoga today. Inhale your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down, stretching your fingers out and spreading your toes. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders down, and then exhale the hands behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and then exhale, pivoting over. Move your head around, get the neck releasing a little bit, hands up towards your head. Take a breath or two, deepen a little further. And then bend your knees slightly, keep your chin in slightly, and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the upper body back bend. Shoulders down, spread your toes, stretch your whole spine. Take a breath or two, and then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment there, feeling your spine getting energized, and we'll do it again. Arms stretching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale, clasping your hands the opposite way. Take a breath again, stretching your head back and lifting your heart, and then pivot over. Hands up toward your head, head down toward your legs. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the backs of your legs. And again, just release everything and slowly work your way up. Chest high, shoulders down, and breathe. And again, feel the back bend, lifting your heart. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment, noticing how that's working through your spine. Lateral motion next, stretching the sides. Let's keep one arm down, the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep the shoulder down. Stretch the fingertips away. Keep facing forward, not leaning to the front. And stretch out to the side. Push the foot your weight, leaning away from down for that extra stretch. And then inhale upright. Exhale that arm down. Feel the difference on the two sides and bring the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Both shoulders, shoulder blades down, stretch the fingertips and lean, no twist. So make sure you're facing the front with the hips and shoulders, and you're sinking that foot down that you're leaning away from for that extra lengthening through the ribs. Take a breath or two, relaxing. And then inhale to the top, and back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, and then stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart, and exhale over to one side for your twist. Take a breath, even on both feet as you pivot over and relax. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. And then stay in your twist uh, as you work your way up. And again, lifting your heart, upper body back bend, especially in the twist, gentle on the low back. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe and stretch out through the crown. Inhale up. Exhale to the center and switch your arms. And again, spine open and twist to the other side. A breath. And exhale over. Take a moment there and breathe. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders. Keep your arms by your ears. And staying in your twist with the weight on both feet, work your way up into that upper body back bend one more time. Stretch it out, lifting and 
dropping your shoulders. Take a breath, stretch it, stretch it out. Inhale, upright, exhale, round to the center, arms up, shoulders down, extended mountain. Spread your toes, get into the heels and base of the toes, ball of the foot area evenly. And then swan dive, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, stretch it out straight, everything reaching away. Drop into ragdoll, just hanging. And pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs for that extra stretch on your back. Hands to the front. And again, from the bottom of the spine, just slowly wind your way up, shoulders back and down. And relax into mountain pose. Spread your toes, stretch your head, and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing the hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs as you bring them back for a nice little upper body back bend one more time. Exhale and pivot over and drop into right down. Tuck in your chin and again pull in a little deeper for that back of your body stretch. Release your hands to the front, slide them up under your knees on your shins. A halfway up stretch, spreading your toes and lengthening elbows, knees, and spine straight. Drop back to ragdoll, bend your knees slightly, bring your arms out straight from your shoulders, pivot up. Keep those arms where they are, see if they're still shoulder height. Turn the palms toward the ceiling, inhale them overhead, palms together, and back to your heart. Take a moment and just feel your body as you come back into mountain pose. Spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. Start on the good side, whichever one that is for you. Keep lifting the arch. Get that whole bottom of your foot all the way across the base of the toes. No gripping with those toes. And heel. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Core active, so get those ribs in and up so that spine is supported. Sink into your balance foot and bring the other leg up. Don't cross it over, so roll it in and bring it toward your heart as far as it wants to go. Or if you're challenged today, keep it near the floor. And circle your ankle, that creaky old lady ankle stretching out and flex and point before you put the leg back down. Shift over to the other side, spread the toes, and again, align that body, get the core working, spread out through the toes, not gripping them, and weight evenly across the ball of the foot and heel. Other foot coming up, and again, only as high as it wants to go. Make sure it's not crossing over, and then circle the ankle. Feel it working, keeping it flexible. And flex and point, straighten things out, and return to mountain pose. Just take a moment, ground it into both feet, up through the crown, relax the shoulders back and down, and again, hands to your heart. Inhale, watching the hands go up. Exhale, hands coming out to shoulder level. Stretch it out, looking toward the front. Stretch the back of your neck up, sitting bones down. Feel that stretch all the way across the shoulders. Bring your thumbs inside the palms, fists just gently forming with those fingers around the thumb. Turn one up and one down, push out through the fists, and then rotate the other way. Fist up and down, and then rotating the opposite direction. Keep stretching out, keep those arms right at shoulder level. Keep breathing, keep relaxing through the neck, through the shoulders as you push out and rotate. And then get that lower arm working with the fists all the way up to the elbow, rotating around. And then up to your shoulders, whole arm turning. And then work the shoulders with it. Coming forward as the fist goes down and then releasing back. Feel that whole massage across that upper back, 
shoulder area. Keep pushing out through the fists as you're doing that. See if you can feel it all the way to your spine. And then release the shoulders. Only moving the arms. Keep them still at shoulder level. And then the lower arms and fists only. Spread your toes, reach your crown up. Keep moving those fists. And then tighten the fists, turn them both toward the floor. Stretch out through the fists. And then one at a time, just release those fingers unfurling your pedals like the National Geographic slow motion special, getting those fist flowers opened into extended pedals. Pull the pedals back, pushing the palms out toward the sun and the sky. Bring them up and shake them out as those pedals fall. Feel your arms and shoulders a little more energized or activated in some way. And again, hands to your heart. We'll look at the hands, following them up. A nice back bend, pulling the thumbs back and the chest high. Don't lift the chin too high, but stretch your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over and into ragdoll. Hands up under your shins, stretch and straighten in the halfway up position. And then bending your knees, come to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead and shoulders toward the front. Take a breath, just let that whole spine stretch open. Exhale any tension. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, sliding off into staff position. Take a moment as you breathe, feel your body, shoulders back and down, core supporting your spine, and pressing out through the heels, pull the toes back. Take a moment, breathing, exhaling tension, and reach the crown toward the ceiling. Pull the chin down toward your chest, Stretch the back of your neck, and then we'll rotate the chin over to one side, pull it up toward the ceiling, looking up, bring it in toward the center, over to the other side, down toward your shoulder, and back to the middle. Reverse the direction, going to the opposite side, up toward the ceiling, into the middle, over to the side, down to your shoulder, around to the center. And then tip your chin back up, stretch the back of your neck, and don't forget to breathe. Bring your arms out in front, turn the palms toward each other, bring the arms up over your shoulders. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, core supporting your spine. Just extend up through your fingertips, just like an extended mountain, only I guess this is extended staff. Press out through your feet, up through your fingertips and head. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. Bring your hands past each other and clasp. Bring the arms out to the front, shoulders down. And then bring your hands toward you and pretzel in with the fingertips going up. Exhale, release, hands back to the center and overhead. Switch the hands, other one in front. Bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch up through the head and fingers, out through your heels, pull the toes back, get that core working. And again, shoulders stay down as you bring the hands to the front, straight out, circle them in and around, fingertips up. Exhale and release, and hands overhead. Separate, palms toward each other, back into that extended staff. Take a moment, shoulders down, core active. Don't forget to breathe. Palms out, down to shoulder level. Push to one side, keep the hips sitting bones both down. Back to the center, over to the other side. 
back to the center. And release your arms. Take a moment as you get back into your seated position and cross your legs. But remember, we're creatures of habit, so go ahead, reverse it, because we want to balance things a little bit more. Shoulders back and down, hands around your knees, just a little gentle cup. Ribs in and round forward, bringing your forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment there, just breathing, stretching your spine, tucking your chin just a little bit, and then roll over to one side and to the back, over to the other side, back to the center, and reverse the direction, going the other way, lift your heart, and then over to the side, back to the center. Tuck in and roll back up into your cross leg position. Switch your legs just to balance things out. Sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, and don't forget to breathe. Let's do our neck work. So bring your chin into that throat indentation. Keep your shoulders relaxed down and back, core supporting your spine. Bring your hands onto your head, but don't press, just add weight, giving that neck a little extra stretch. Take a breath, just relax it a little bit more. Now remember, incrementally we're working things out here, so just as you breathe and relax, let it go a little deeper if it wants to, but don't force it. Take a breath. And then releasing your hands, tip the chin back up. Shoulders back and down, lift your chin, but keep stretching through the base of your skull, so out through the crown, stretching the back of your neck, even when it's going into a little back bend. And again, stretch the chin out, move it to the sides, scrunch your face, let that whole throat get a good stretch. And then tip your head back upright. Take a moment to breathe. Exhaling tension. And don't forget to release any tightness. And then we're going to go up onto our knees. So if you need to, you can always hold your back, mat back and get a little padding under your knees and sink your hips back on your heels. So stretching the front of your ankles here. Just take a moment there, breathing. And then we're gonna work the sides of the shoulders while we're here. So tip an ear toward one side, keeping both shoulders down. Just let the ear come over. Relax it, breathing. Bring the hand you're tipping toward to the side of your head and just add its weight, not pressure, so don't push. To feel that stretch on the other side increment a little bit. Let it happen, but don't force it. Put the hand down if you like the stretch, either fingertips or palm, whatever works for you in this position. Take a breath. Feel your body, just let it relax. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright. If that's getting stretchy on your ankles, you can lean forward and circle those ankles again. And come back onto the tops of your feet, hips back to your heels. Take a breath, just relaxing. Shoulders down and back, core supporting your spine. Ear over to that other side. Again, both shoulders stay down, don't hunch either side up. Exhale and relax. As that side starts to stretch, just let it release any tension. Bring your hand up for that extra, adding weight, not pressure. So the side of the head just relaxes, put the hand against it, and the other shoulder area stretches a little bit more. Bring the opposite hand down to the floor if you want to, or a little extra stretch. Take a breath. Let everything release and relax, no pressure, no stress. And then the hands come back to your lap, 
head tips back up and feel the shoulders a little bit more released. Take a breath and reach up through the crown. Tuck the chin in and just keep rounding down. So just let the whole spine round as we come with that forehead coming forward. Take a breath and then start at the bottom of your spine, stacking back up and return that chin to its normal position, stretching up through the back of your neck. Take a moment and breathe. And then come forward onto your fingertips and tuck your toes under and come back onto your heels. So you're getting a little stretch on the bottoms of your feet this time. It can be a little intense, so be gentle if you need to. And anytime you need to come out of it, feel free to go back to the other positions. Take a moment and breathe. Keep that core supporting you. Relax the shoulders back and down. Keep stretching up through the crown and turn one, turn your chin toward one side. And again, backing out of the driveway, looking behind you as far as it wants to go. Breathing, just relaxing. And then turn the chin back to the center and continue over to the other side. And again, only as far as feels good for you. If you're noticing those toes, just let them stretch and turn the chin back to the front. And again, bring your hands down onto the floor, lifting those toes, circle your ankles, scrunch the toes in and out a few times. And again, sitting back on your heels, unflip your mat if you had it under you, and bring your feet to the end of the mat into staff position. Core supporting you as you slowly roll to your back. So just pause as you go down, making sure that core is working a little bit as you release shoulders to the floor, head down, hands at your sides. Take a moment and breathe. Circle those ankles again, both ways. Take a breath. Stretch it out. And then relax here. Shoulders down, bring your hands out to the side, palms up. Press the sitting bones slightly towards your heels. Bend your right knee, foot to the left side. We're going to do our lower back twist. So bring your hands together in front of you as you roll to the left, knee all the way to the floor. Keep your head down, pat it if you need to. Don't overwork the neck now. Left hand to the knee, right hand to the ceiling. Keep the palm open toward the ceiling as you bring the hand right at shoulder level down toward the floor. It may not make it, that's okay. Gravity will do the work when you're ready. Turn your head toward that hand wherever it is. Let the neck get a little twist. The more you keep the knee on the floor, the more your lower back is in the twist. And just gravity will bring your hand, hand and shoulder toward the floor when your middle back is ready. Let it happen. Do force it. Take a few breaths here. Exhaling. Just letting things release. If your hand is in the air, it'll go closer toward the floor when your body's ready. Let it happen. But don't force anything beyond where it's comfortable. Take a breath. The more you exhale, the more those ligaments release and the bones move into their aligned positions. Exhale any tension, balancing body, mind, and energy. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, and relax, feeling that twist energy through you as we get ready yeah, to twist to the opposite side. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, bending your left leg, foot to the right thigh, rolling to the right. And again, knee coming down, head on the floor, everything released to the side, hands together. And then move your, what is that, right hand to your left knee and left hand up right above your shoulder. Look at it as it moves into its twist position as much as this side wants to go. 
And as always, remember, one side may be tighter. Just do what's right on this side. If the hand stays in the air, that's okay. Let it. When gravity is ready to pull you into the twist further, it will. But don't force, because that undoes all the benefits of the twist. Knee on the floor as much as you can stand. You can pad if you need to. And turn your head as far as it wants to go for your neck twist as well. Take a breath. Again, just releasing any tension along your spine. Exhale, any tightness, let that hand drop even further toward the floor. Deepening, relaxing the shoulder, just releasing, always emphasizing the exhalations, letting things go a little bit more with every breath. And whenever you're satisfied on this side, just let go of your leg and roll onto your back. Again, sliding the foot down near the other one. Turn the toes toward each other. Bring your hands next to your hips, slightly away from your sides. Turn the palms up, let the shoulders relax. Release the legs and feet. Move your head around. Again, turn your chin toward your chest. Roll it to one side back to the middle, over to the other sh shoulder, and back to the middle. Soften your jaw, relax your shoulders, allow your body just to sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Scrunch your face together, and let it go. Soften your belly, breathe deep, exhale, and just let your body grow heavier and softer, sinking into that earth support beneath you and let your body go completely. As your body relaxes, just let awareness of your body release from your attention. As that happens, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. Breathing in, Breathing away with the thoughts, floating them away without awareness. Let the past release, forget the future. Just allow the thoughts to flow in and out without attention as easily as your breath, disappearing without awareness. As your body relaxes and your mind drifts, allow your awareness turn inward, find the peace within, and just fill your body, fill your mind. Take a few moments relaxing into peace. And as always, just keep relaxing as long as you have moment and opportunity. It's time to return for the rest of your day. Just begin preparing with the energy and awareness, drawing back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Circling your ankles, releasing your arms and shoulders, relaxing however feels right in your body. And as you become ready for more breath and stretch, just deepen as much as you'd like. 
And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting down towards your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees drawn up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. Whenever you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.